three action items that can screw up your business. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. I'm holding a pen. I've got this here. It's already written in. I'm not gonna write too much more on it that I could think of. And the reason is, is because I've already recorded this. Well, I attempted to record it. I attempted to put this together and went through a very nice talk uh, to a uh, camera that wasn't recording. So here we go again. <laughs> not that you need to know that. This, what is this all about? You, you've probably seen multiple things like this before. This is a remake of a video that I did when I first started the show. And I have to keep going back to a lot of these principles to reinstate them, to keep everybody on track because not everybody sees your stuff all the time. We talk about that a lot too. That's kind of a principle when it comes to content marketing is not everybody sees everything. So you have to repeat yourself. And I'm gonna tell you about this because it is so useful. It is so important when you are dealing with any type of organization or you're trying to accomplish anything with other people that you understand these different areas. And this all has to do with action within your business. Now this can, this can work anywhere too. This isn't just business, any type of action, any type of, when you're attempting to reach some type of a goal, when you're trying to build something, that these type of things are important. So let me explain them to you real quick. These are principles, strategies, and tactics. Everything that you do or talk about, it fits somewhere in here when it comes to your business. Let's start at the bottom. People do these in different ways, but I'm gonna deal with the importance. The level of importance is on the bottom. The important part that you need before everything else is your principles to your business. Now we talked about principle yesterday in terms of uh, truth and something that's very solid and something that's very knowable. This is more of how you translate that into your business. Where are you going with your business? What's the point of your business? More than likely, those are the, the ideas of your business that are not going to change. There are certain pieces that will not change. They may adjust over time in terms of your understanding of them, but the idea is they're solid. They're the foundation of your business. That's what a principle is. That's what, and you're not gonna, you don't need a lot and they don't even need to be written down, but they do need to be understood. The ideas need to be understood and they need to be understood by anybody that is working within that business that, that is working with you on a regular basis to do these other things. Strategies is the next level. Strategies are plans. Any type of planning whatsoever, short term, long term, the idea is that they don't last forever. Strategies do not last forever. So you can't just fall in love with the strategy and hold on to it but you do need to stick with it long enough to see it through. A strategy has a beginning, middle, and an end. A strategy is we want to achieve blank, so this is how we're gonna get here, from point A to point B. We, we, gotta, we gotta get from one place to the other. Strategy is the roadmap. A lot of people have trouble with strategies. I've worked with multiple clients and partners that don't think in that way. They just wanna jump in and move and get going and they don't need to know where they're going or how. Strategies are necessary eventually. In early stages of business and early stages of uh, any type of process, you may need to kind of knock things around before you even know where you're going. But strategies are necessary eventually. And it's funny because my mind thinks in more of a principle strategy area and everybody's a little bit different. Everyone's brain works a little bit different. Some people are very, turned on by this last one, tactics. Tactics are the sexy thing in, in all business, okay? They're the, they're the hot thing. They're the thing that gets you excited. It's a shiny object. It's the thing, it's the, it's the TikTok marketing, it's, it's uh, Facebook ads, it's this, it's that. They're the thing that people are thinking and talking about right now. By its nature, tactics are temporary. Tactics are the actions, the action items, the way you're going to achieve a specific strategy. But like I said, strategies don't last forever, but tactics last even shorter period of time. Tactics can change on a day-to-day -day basis. Never fall in love with tactics, but realize everyone's brain works differently. And they, we all tend to centralize in one of these areas. And if I'm talking strategy and principle, 
a lot of times I'll have a real tough time working with somebody and trying to, it's like a different language trying to explain it to someone who's caught up on a tactic, who's, who's just enjoying the journey and working in a specific area, but they don't know how to, how to communicate on plan mode, <laughs> on any type of plans whatsoever. Everybody's different. There's nothing wrong, nothing wrong or right with any of it. But you eventually need to have somebody in your organization that can translate between all these different modes and get everyone working together. It's important that everyone understands the principles, that everyone understands that the strategies are there to serve the principles and that the tactics are there to serve the strategies. If you do that, things work well. If you don't, I see over and over and over again businesses that fall into into focusing too much on the principle or too much in the tactics and not including enough strategy or getting caught up with the strategy and not switching it up quick enough, thinking that the strategy is the principle. You can see how this can get confusing over time. If you have worked in a business, especially with a lot of people, you know what I'm talking about here and you'll be able to probably tell me better than I could tell you where this mix up happens. It happens all the time. And so I always, that the uh, new businesses that I partner up with, cause I'm a, I'm a business investor. So when I'm partnering up with businesses, these are some of the principles that we need to walk through. We need to have a common language. And so one of the com <laughs> these common terms is the idea of principles, strategies, and tactics. Hopefully you could use that as you move ahead too, because it, it really is helpful when you're having conversations and trying to build something that lasts. Hopefully that makes sense to you. We've, I've got my book, Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business. This is all based on how do you design a strategy? And it pulls you back to your principles in these early stages and build long-term strategies to be able to make yourself completely competition proof. That's what the book's all about. It's Amazon, uh, you can get a free copy or you, you go purchase a copy, but get a, go get a free copy off my website, amazonproofbook.com. We'll be back here tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.